At TreadRight, our ongoing mission is to help ensure the places we visit remain protected and vibrant. That mission has now brought me to Bushman's Kloof, Wilderness Reserve and Wellness Retreat here in stunning South Africa. A member of the Red Carnation Hotel Collection and one of National Geographic's unique lodges of the world, Bushman's Kloof is the custodian of more than 130 rock art sites, some as old as 10,000 years. I'm here with Landine Zima, the rock art curator at Bushman's Kloof, to learn a bit more about this incredible cultural heritage. Landine, thank you so much for being here with me. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. It's a pleasure. Um, we're in a beautiful site. Can you tell me who created this rock art and where are we? Welcome to Elephant Han. That is the name of this site. Uh, we believe, firstly, the rock art, the rock paintings, and their engravings are part of the sun religious beliefs and rituals. The sun people, they were well known as the hunter and the gatherers. They've been up in this area, we believe, around about 1,000 years, up to 10,000 years old. The rock art we see here from the sand people isn't just about telling their stories, it is about their spirituality as well. That is correct, because we believe, you know, uh, first of all, when the sun people paint in caves like, like this, they always believe they're just using this more like a curtain to different world. Mm -hmm. This was uh, their special place. So that is our duty to protect what we have, because we don't want to lose what we have. Seeing the rock art of the sand people up close feels like looking deep into our human existence on this planet. Knowing that some of the paintings date back to 10,000 years further highlights the importance of conserving and sharing these incredible sites. Treadright's support of Bushman's Kloof as the custodian of this cultural heritage gives us the opportunity to keep these unique sites intact for generations to come. <laughs>